Hello everybody, my name is Dwayne Massey and welcome back to my YouTube channel and my YouTube video entitled Guided Imagery. Lecture material that go along with this video can be found on my website www.masseyinstitute.com If you want to stop this video at this point and download these materials, please do so. Go to the website, select the lecture material tab, select the title of this video, and print out the associated material. You can then follow along on it as the video progresses. You may restart the video when you are ready to do so. Let's go ahead and get started. When I used to teach this content at the college level, the progressive relaxation activity and the guided imagery activity were the two lessons I most looked forward to during the semester. Guided or emotive imagery involves the use of positive imagery to block uncomfortable or anxiety producing thoughts. Uses of guided imagery include reducing discomfort and anxiety associated with childbirth, teeth cleaning. The combination of guided imagery with progressive relaxation was found to be effective in reducing the adverse effects of chemotherapy with cancer patients. Reduction of post-surgical anxiety for gallbladder patients. Receiving injections. Coping with minor surgery. And coping with chronic recurring pain. There has been research with cancer patients imagining their white blood cells attacking their disease. Those individuals involved in this research were found to extend their lives past their expected life expectancy. People who employed guided imagery were found to be able to, on average, hold their hands immersed in ice water more than twice as long as people who did not employ this technique. The use of guided imagery can be, few, can be viewed as a cognitive time out, a rest and recuperation strategy, an R&R strategy for the mind, so to speak. Guided imagery can also be used to cope with fears and phobias, coping with depression and sadness, dealing with boredom, coping with stress and problems associated with everyday living, achieving goals, and controlling and eliminating bad habits. In our next video, we will engage in a guided imagery activity. In conclusion, I hope something we said today was useful and had some relevance to you. Be on the lookout for my next video, which I hope to post in the relatively near future. Again, be sure to check out my webpage, www.masseyinstitute.com. Additional information about sports psychology and the topics discussed can be found there. Also, if you like what you see today, be sure to subscribe to this channel. And be sure to leave comments as I'm interested in what you think of these efforts. And as always, thank you so much for watching today.